Hi, this is the video that I'm doing on the build for my 2022 CB500X. Uh, it's just going to be a short video, cover a few topics. Uh, so I bought the bike last summer, uh, had about a thousand kilometers on it, I put on two thousand kilometers. It came with the Outback Motortech skid plate, crash bars, and the rear rack. And uh, I haven't done, uh, haven't done anything to the bike since I got it till this winter when I wanted to make a couple changes. Uh, number one, I wanted to add heated grips. So I bought the uh, Oxford Adventure grip, I believe it is, and uh, installed it. And I tagged it off of the options. Well, I use a relay in the system, and when the bike is turned on, the options port under the front of the bike triggers the relay on, and then that'll power up the grips. So the grips won't be on if the bike isn't on. The next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to have a switch on the dash that I could turn the cooling fan on if I decided it needed to be on. So riding conditions are hot or you're sitting in traffic or whatever. So uh, I installed that switch and there's a clip that I'll put in to show the, how I did the wiring on that. Uh, next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to install an ABS override switch. So I used a relay again, a switch on the dash, a relay, and then what I did was interrupted the signal that goes down to or comes from the rear ABS sensor. Now I haven't tested this yet, it's uh, winter time, so that's untested but if there's a problem with it, I will advise. Everything I read online says I should be able to do that. The next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to have driving lights. So again, using the options relay under the front, off the wire that comes on with the key, I wire the amber lights through a switch on the dash. And on the wire from the options plug that comes on with the high beams, I wire the uh, white driving lights through the high beam switch. Now all of that of course shuts off when the key shuts off and there are wiring diagrams included to show that. I also wanted to put on a temperature pressure sensing or a pressure temperature sensing system. So I bought this one online and I mounted it on a little bracket I made up across the uh, four bolts that hold handlebars down and I wired it again directly into the keyed switch off the options plug. So it again comes on when you turn the bike on, comes off when you turn the bike off. I added a headlight guard. Just a cheap one I found on I don't know, AliExpress or something like that. Added that in, just keep the you know the big rocks up. Added a rad guard, actually quite a well-built, nice one that I got for twenty twenty-two dollars off of at AliExpress or Timu, one of the two. I also added on the Triga platform rack or the platform system for the tube rack onto the Outback Motor, uh, Motor Tech rack system. I use the Kriga bags on my GS and I've used them on my Africa Twin as well and I like them so I wanted to continue to use them. So I bought the adapter kit and the plate. Yeah, so I mounted my Rotopax up on top of my toolbox which is a little Pelican box and uh, I carry about a gallon extra fuel. So I'd like to just clear up something with regards to these headlights. So when I flip that switch that I installed on, there'll be an amber light. Now this is a dual lit uh, LED bulb. One is amber, one is uh, the white light. So my push button turns on the amber and when I use the high beam switch that turns on the white light. Now if I want to have one or the other, 
all I have to do is turn either my switch on or the high beams on with my switch off and then you'll see I can have both or I can have just one. Once I have just the white light, uh, that would be my high beam driving lights. So I installed my relays under the seat. Uh, I ended up buying a 30 amp one because it's the sealed waterproof version that I wanted. And uh, I have them all marked and labeled. And my wiring is just underneath that uh, piece of inner tube and they are all heat shrink and soldered connections. So that's it. That's the build that I've done thus far on the bike. Come next, uh, after a ride of the summer, I'll probably be doing some suspension work next year, so I'll update the video then. And uh, obviously I'll put on some better tires once these ones are worn out. Until that time, thanks for watching. Appreciate any comments. Like and subscribe to our channel if you find of any value. And uh, we'll see you in the next update.